Hello, this is Vipin. Welcome to my blog and uh, YouTube channel. So today I want to show you how to calculate the square root of a fractional number uh, with a VHDL or very low code. <coughs> so recently I have posted uh, a square root calculator code in VHDL and in Verilog. So I have two blogs, one for Verilog and one for VHDL. So I have uh, posted the same design in both these languages. You can see the links to these codes just under this video. So for the sake of explaining, uh, let me start with this uh, VHDL code. So we have an n bit uh, input and we have an n by 2 bit uh, output which is the square root. So you cannot specify fractional numbers directly here. You can only give an integer and you will get an integer out, out, right? So suppose you give an integer say 36, the module will give you the result 6. If you give 49, result will be 7 and so on. And suppose if you give the module an input of say 40, it will not give you 6 point uh, whatever, <coughs> it will give you an output of just 6. So how do we find the uh, fractional result? How do we get fractional result? So let me explain that. So suppose we have a decimal uh, number 2.457, a real number, which is uh, in binary it's like this, okay? You have like 32 bits. By the way, I used uh, this tool for converting from decimal to binary and binary to decimal. So in case you want to do that, I, I will paste this link uh, below the video description, okay? So the actual square root of this input is uh, 1.567482, okay? That's the actual real value if you use a calculator. But uh, as we said, we cannot handle fractional side directly. So what do we do? So what we do is we will multiply the input which is uh, 2.457 by a power of 4. So power of 4 means this is 4 raised to 1 which is 4, 4 raised to 2 16, 4 raised to 3 64 etc. Okay. And uh, in digital system when you multiply by 4 it means you are left shifting the binary number by two positions. So multiplying by 4 means uh, left shifting by two positions and multiplying by 16 means left shifting by four positions. Okay, So even if you say it is multiplication it's just uh, the way you index the number. So very easy to implement. Alright. So we will do that multiplication and then that number will be passed to here as an input. So that uh, multiplied uh, left shifted number will be passed on to this as an input. Okay. So we have to increase the size of n here depending on how many zeros are padded to the right side. Okay. So once that is done we will find the square root using the module as usual and uh, whatever square root you get from the module we will divide that result by a power of 2. So whatever exponent you used uh, to multiply we will use the same exponent to divide. Okay. So it's better if I explain this with an example. So we have this input 2.457 we multiply a power of 5, 4 raised to 5, which means that uh, we are uh, left shifting by 10, 5 into 2 is equal to 10, 10 positions, right? So we will get a decimal value of 2515, okay? So the fractions are like completely ignored. We don't round off or do anything like that. So when we left shift this number, 
by 10 positions you will get this as a decimal result now this is passed on to our code and the code will give us a square root of 50 50 into 50 2500 and 15 is remainder that's uh, left out okay and this result 50 is then divided by the same exponent which we use to multiply so here uh, we will uh, divide by 2 raised to 5 so which means that when we divide by 2 it means we are right shifting by one position so in our case uh, we have to right shift by 5 positions right because the exponent is 5 so what we get is this so if you look at this 110010 is actually the binary equivalent for a decimal number 50 and we right shift and put a dot put a dot just uh, after five uh, five bits okay and now if you convert this into a decimal number an integer we will get 1.5625 okay and the actual result using a normal calculator is this so you can see that like only the difference is found like here 7 4 and here it is 2 5 so we have a very very accurate result much more accurate because if you don't use this fractional number the result will be just one this 5 6 2 5 will be completely ignored in our normal code now some in some of your projects you might want like very high accuracy that is also possible you just have to increase the exponent so let me show you another example so instead of 5 we are going to use an exponent of 10 okay so we use the same input we multiply by 4 raised to 10 and uh, 4 raised to 10 is this and we will get a decimal value this and uh, this number is input to our code our VHDL or Verilog design and we get a result square root 1605 from our HDL code and that is divided which means that is um, right shifted by 10 positions so when you do that you get this you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. So 10 digits you put a dot. So everything here is fractional. This last 10 digits uh, becomes a fractional. So which in if you convert it to a base 10 representation you get a result of this. And again the actual value is 1.567482 and here you can see that we even the third digit is the same so the only difference is like 0 0.0001 that is the difference between the result from our VHDL or Verilog code and uh, typical computer calculator so you can see that by just increasing the number of zeros which you pad to the right before inputting the number to the code you can just uh, increase the accuracy so this is the shortcut which is very useful in uh, implementing a square root I hope uh, this uh, trick has been very helpful uh, you can use the code available in my blog uh, for implementing the same with uh, very little modifications I hope it's helpful in case you have any doubt uh, you could uh, email me I do help um, by guiding students in their projects for a fee alright good luck and goodbye